Good afternoon, Titans. This is Mr. Sturtz, and we're talking about Lesson 3.5, Graphing Linear Equations in Slope-Intercept Form. Student journal is up to page 31. We're going to start with some vocab here. Write these five down. They give you spots for them in your student journal. Okay, pause the video. Write these down. First thing we're going to talk about is slope. And the slope of a non-vertical line passing through two points. And how we're going to refer to these two points is uh, x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2. Is the ratio of rise, which is our change in y that you just wrote down, to the run, which is the change in the x coordinate. Okay, so our equation is listed right there. The change in y over the change in x. Okay, and so that's y sub 2, which means our second point, our second y coordinate minus our first y coordinate over our second x coordinate minus our first x-coordinate. Okay, when the line rises from left to right, we say it's positive, the slope is positive, and when it falls from left to right, we say it's a negative slope. All right, the slope of each line. As we look at that line from left to right, it rises. Okay, so we're going to say that is a positive slope. And to find the slope, we're going to use our slope formula which we said y sub 2. So in this case, it doesn't matter which point you use, okay, as long as you're consistent. If you say y sub 2, we also have to take our x sub 2 from that same point. So if we start with our first one up here, let's say our y sub 2 is going to be 2. Now minus our first y coordinate, which is also a negative 2. And we're going to write that over our change in our x values, which since we picked y sub 2 up top, we have to use the same x one. And that is going to be 3 minus, now a negative 3, our second coordinate. Okay, and if we solve this, 2 minus a negative 2, let's change them both to plus, that's the same as addition. So we have a 4 over, same with the denominator here, 3 plus 3 is 6. If we simplify or reduce that fraction to 2 thirds, notice that's a positive number, so we have a positive slope. Okay, and our second one, it falls from left to right. So we're going to say that is a negative slope. And we're going to use the same formula. Okay, let's use the top one again as our sub 2. Let's go ahead and say 2 minus a negative 1, our change in our y's, over, if we're using the top one, we're going to say 0 minus 2. Okay, and 2 minus a negative 1, again, is going to be addition. So we have 3 over 0 minus 2 is a negative 2. Okay, and you can leave it as an improper fraction. Notice it's a negative number, so we have a negative slope. 